When switching from cable TV to free TV using an antenna, an outdoor installation typically offers the best performance and provides a more reliable experience. Preparation is critical before starting any TV antenna installation. The first step should be to find out where your local broadcast towers are located. You can find this information for free online at a number of websites, including channelmaster.com, on the antenna selection page. Once you know the direction of where the local broadcast towers are from your home, the next step is to go outside and identify all possible obstructions impeding the line of sight between the broadcast towers and your home. Also, there may be locations or surfaces on the roof or around the home that are not ideal for mounting an antenna. For this installation, the local broadcast towers are located to the west, at compass heading 275 degrees. We've identified the neighbor's house as a possible obstruction, so we'll want to try our best to avoid placing the antenna on the side of the house. Our first preference was to install the antenna along the eave of the roof, but as you can see, there's a gutter in the way. Therefore, in order to ensure we install the antenna with line of sight and on a doable surface, we decided to mount the antenna on the side of a block wall in the back corner of the backyard. For this particular installation, we'll be using the following tools and equipment. The Channelmaster OmniPlus antenna, the Amplify preamplifier, the universal antenna mount, a lightning surge suppressor, an LTE filter, a power passing two-way splitter, a grounding block, we used a power drill, a quarter inch carbine hammer drill bit, hammer, socket wrench, a level, a cable wire cutter, one quarter by one inch heavy duty nail drive anchors, heavy duty zip ties, a ladder, cable clamps and coaxial cable. When installing the universal antenna mount on a block wall, you'll want to make sure the base plate is centered between multiple blocks to distribute the load. Use a level to make sure the base plate is straight before drilling holes. It's important to use a drill bit specifically designed to go through brick, block, or concrete. After you drill holes in the blocks, insert a heavy duty nail drive anchor into each hole. If they don't fit at first, use the drill bit carefully to drill out more space. Once the base plate is attached to the wall, make sure the pole is completely straight. You can do this by placing a level at the top of the pole and then loosening and tightening the adjustment screws on the mounting brace and at the base of the J pole as shown. For this installation, we're mounting the antenna to a block wall that's shared with a neighbor. We don't want the antenna hanging over into the neighbor's backyard. Luckily, the Channelmaster OmniPlus offers a rotation adjustment, which allows us to keep the antenna from hanging over the fence. Next, we attach the included U-bolt mounting hardware to the antenna, and then we slide the mass through the U-bolt as shown. Use a wrench to secure the connection by tightening the nuts. The next step is to mount the preamplifier. For this installation, we will mount the preamplifier to the antenna's mounting bracket using heavy duty zip ties. Keep in mind, it's important to mount the preamplifier as close to the antenna as possible to avoid loss of signal before it has a chance to be amplified. Then, we feed the coaxial cable through the inside of the mast as shown and connect it to the output port of the preamplifier. Then, using a very short length of coax, we'll connect the antenna to the input port of the preamplifier. Note, it's important to create a drip loop on both cables to allow moisture to drain off. This prevents rainwater from damaging any of the connections. In order to keep the cable line straight and to maintain a clean look, it's necessary to use cable clamps like these when running coaxial cable from the antenna into the home. For this specific installation, 
We had to drill holes every couple feet down the block wall using a carbide hammer drill bit in order to secure the cable clamps. We then ran cable underground along the base of the wall the rest of the way. If you are switching to free TV from cable, there should be a conduit typically located in a box at the side of the house where the cable company's signal comes up from the ground. Running coax from the antenna to this location allows you to use the pre-existing hardwiring cable in the home. For installations like this particular one that will not be using TV or internet from a cable provider, the next task is to disconnect the coax from the cable company that's coming up from the ground. For this specific install, we'll be disconnecting the cable from what's called a grounding block. These are used for grounding the system and are compatible with both cable and over-the-air signals. Per National Electric Code, grounding the antenna is highly recommended to reduce risks associated with lightning strikes. For more information about properly grounding your antenna, we recommend you refer to the National Electric Code at nfpa.org. We connect the coax from the antenna into the grounding block input. Then, we connect a Channel Master lightning surge suppressor to the grounding block output. We will now disconnect the pre-existing splitter and replace it with the Channel Master power passing splitter. Power passing splitters are necessary in order to get power up to the preamplifier. The preamplifier's power supply plugs into a wall outlet inside the home and is designed to feed power back up to the preamplifier along the same coaxial cable running to the antenna. Regular splitters do not allow power to pass through. We now connect all cables running into the home to the output ports of the splitter. Next, we connect a Channel Master LTE filter to the splitter input. LTE filters help prevent signal interference caused by the growing presence of cellular communications. Even in areas with strong signals, cellular interference can make channels unwatchable or cause them to totally drop out altogether. The Amplify has a built-in LTE filter, but we installed a standalone LTE filter to further eliminate LTE interferences that could be introduced over the cable run or at connection points. This is not necessary, but just an added layer of protection for our signal. Using a short line of coax, we connect one end to the lightning surge suppressor and the other end to the LTE filter on the splitter. Finally, we use the included screw to mount the splitter nice and neatly within the box as shown. The antenna signals should now be hardwired throughout the home. You will want to make sure there are no additional splitters or equipment in the line. These can cause issues and even completely block signals. So as best as possible, make sure that the coaxial cables entering the house are direct lines to each television. Next, we connect power to the preamplifier power inserter. Then, we run a short line of coax from the wall jack to the power inserter input. Finally, we run another line of coax from the output into the back of the television. It's now time to scan for channels on your television. To do so, click the menu or settings button on your television and scroll down to broadcasting. On other TVs, it might be called channel setup or just channels. Make sure it's set to air or antenna, not cable. Then select auto scan or auto program. The TV will begin to scan for available channels. This process typically takes just a few minutes. When completed, all of the free HD channels should be available to watch. If you are unsatisfied with the amount of channels or the quality of the picture, you can adjust the gain on the preamplifier by pressing the button at the bottom of the device. If the light is not illuminated, then it's highly likely there's either a non-power passing splitter installed somewhere in the house, the preamp power inserter is installed incorrectly, or there are other issues with the cabling in between the preamplifier and the power inserter. Thus concludes the Cable TV to Free TV Outdoor TV Antenna installation. For additional product and installation videos from Channel Master, please subscribe to our official YouTube channel or visit us online at channelmaster.com.